In this clip, I'm going to show how to prep a duck head prior to putting it in the form, attaching it to the neck. First thing I'll do is I'll rough up the back of the neck here. I'm going to take the knife and just trim some of this away, and I'm going to um, rough it up where the glue will stick to it. Next, I'm going to check my angle. For this position, I'm going to be mounting the bird um, laying down. And I'll just visually check my angle of my wire going through my head to determine where I want to drill through the head. With that in mind, I'll take my drill Drill through at that angle. Okay, now I want to take a trial fitting of it. I'll slip that on there. And that's about what I want it to be. Once I pull that down, that's going to be in the position I want right there. Okay, to prep, prep the neck for positioning the head later, what I'll do is make several slices in the back of the neck here. And I'm going to get kind of an accordion effect. What that does is it removes all the tension from the back of the neck there, so when I bend the head it won't pop loose from the head. Next, I'm going to come around the edge of the bill where I'm going to glue the skin to, and I'm going to rough that surface up. I found that just scratching it a little bit, scratching the paint off, will give a good surface for that glue to adhere to. I'm just following the edge of the bill all the way around there. Okay, the next thing I'll do is set my eyes. I'm going to use a little bit of epoxy sculpt and just press it into the eye socket. Then I'm going to take the eye and press that into epoxy sculpt. And I'm going to let that seat against my um, socket in the head. And I'll roll out a little worm of that and shape the eyelid with that. That's all I want to do to the eye at this point. And when I insert the head, the epoxy sculpt will still be tacky and um, very shapeable. And I can form my eyelid around that and it'll actually hold the skin around the eye like I want. I'll do the other one the same way. By wetting my finger a little bit, I can shape that exactly how I want it. See, at this point, I'm not going to get too carried away with my 
um, lid shape. I'll form that later after I insert the skin in there. Um, we've got the head ready to go inside the body now.